Hello, I'm Bondi Kirby. And today we're going to talk about source of funds. This is a very, very important aspect of EB-5. Specifically, in this particular video, we'll address the sale of a piece of real property. Now, even before we start listing the items that we'll need in order to establish the sale of the property as a lawful source of funds, I want to remind you that when you are going to use a piece of property as the asset that you are going to use to sell in order to obtain the funds to invest, you must also show the lawful source of the funds to acquire that property. So that means you're going to have to go back to when you purchase that property and show how you obtained the funds that you used to make that purchase. But now let's take a look at our chart and we'll go over some of the documents that you would need if you were going to use the sale of property as your source of funds. All right, to begin with, you're going to need the property purchase contract when you purchase the property, the property sales invoice, the tax deed certificate, the property ownership certificate, the mortgage contract, if in fact you had a mortgage on the property, and the settlement of that mortgage, if in fact you have sold or rather paid off that mortgage. You'll need documents, again, as we said, evidencing the lawful source of funds that you use to purchase the property. You'll need the contract for the sale of the property to the individual that's purchasing it, the evidence of taxes paid on the sale of the property, the deposit or transfer slip for the payment of the sales proceeds from the buyer of your property to you as the investor. You'll need your bank statements, which will show that the funds from the property sale went into your account. Now, I know that's a lot of documentation. You'll work directly with your immigration attorney. Perhaps some of these documents won't be required, but you'll want to discuss them directly with your attorney. I hope this is helpful.